Hello, this is Amar Jyot Singh, and I do spouse visas uh, primarily in my immigration practice. And sometimes people call me when they have been charged for misrepresentation, and I get frustrated because I cannot help them. This is a sample refusal uh, explanation that you see on the screen where a person was interviewed, the husband was interviewed, and the husband could not reply to the questions, uh, and they charged him with uh, a misrepresentation, even though the R4 is meant to determine the bona fides of the marriage. For example, how did the relationship grow? When did they meet? What does the husband uh, do? Um, you know, uh, the dates match or not? Um, what does the wife um, do in Canada? Those kind of things. If the husband does not know enough about these activities for the wife, they will deem that uh, he will fail the bona fides of the marriage, which is called R4, which is I, I've just highlighted R4. And uh, the, the irony is because of the failing of bona fides of the marriage, they have chosen to charge him for misrepresentation, that your marriage is not, gen not genuine, even though you are saying it's genuine. That's why you are banned for five years. This is quite unfortunate and drastic. Uh, the only remedy in this case is within 60 days, you can go to a federal court in Canada for a judicial review. Uh, otherwise, there is no other remedy. And for this, you have to hire a lawyer and lawyer may charge $5,000, $10,000, who knows? And we don't even know how long will it take, um, let alone, uh, you know, uh, the chances of success for this kind of um, case. So uh, my point is that before you go for an interview, you need to have practice of the questions and answers because without understanding what questions will be asked of you and without evaluating your answers, you are taking a huge gamble. And in just case, uh, the, you know, five years ban, this is, uh, this is like you're cooked for five years. So that's all I had to say. If you, uh, if you, if you know somebody who's going for an interview, you need to tell them that they should practice before going to the interview. Otherwise, you know, they are, they are taking a huge, huge chance. All right. Thank you very much for your time. And I will see you uh, later. And I guess uh, just write me a comment. Some people have joined in Mandeep Kaur and Prabhjot Singh. Um, but, um, you know, uh, in this topic, I had only this to say. And, and um, you know, I hope uh, that you understand the consequences of uh, misrepresentation. Uh, before you go to the interview so that you are well prepared. All right. Thank you.